I'm starting off with my favorite outfit. So I'm wearing this open back dress. If you have been following this channel, you know how I am with my backless tops. I tuck it inside my denim pants and to dress down this outfit, I wore it with some sneakers. I love this outfit so much. I think this style is such a head turner. You can dress the outfit up by maybe pairing it with some slacks or switch it up with a pair of heels. This next outfit is quite on the trendy side. Sweater vests in this pattern are so trendy right now. I went crazy and bought an oversize. Should have stick with my size, but anyway, I am tucking some of the fabric on the sides of my pants to give me a little form and figure and paired it again with the mom jeans that I wore from the previous outfit. Then finally, a beige tote bag to balance off the colors and patterns. Moving on to a neutral fit, I pick up this nudish pink tank top, which is the perfect length of crop tops for me. Then I paired it with this clean cut satin midi skirt to make the outfit more elegant. And I added this kitten heels to finish the look, making it more fancy and ready for a date kind of look. Also, I feel like the midi skirt combined with this pair of heels elongated my legs. I think it looks cute. This next outfit is a fancier one, not an avid fan of alternates, but I kind of like this look on me. The top is more on the revealing side, but hey, if you got it, flaunt it! Anyway, paired it with my satin midi skirt and it actually looks like an outfit set that you can purchase online for like hundreds of dollars, but really I didn't spend much on this outfit. I love this next outfit. It's perfect for those days where you want to be stylish and just take a bunch of photos. This outfit is surprisingly comfortable. It's like I'm wearing workout clothes. Can I just say, this gray top is super duper soft and in these pants are the comfiest to lounge in. It's like I'm wearing pajamas or something. This tie around pants really elevated this look. It gave the outfit flavor, if you know what I mean. It's sexy and spicy. It's my kind of taste. Another simple and casual look. This outfit is perfect for those errand days where you don't feel like dressing up and you just want to feel comfy. Love the cut of this top. It's not your usual basic white top. It's perfect. Paired it with the comfiest flared pants and added this brown shoulder bag just to add color on the outfit. This fit is perfect for those busy days when you want to just get things done. I've had this dress for a long time now, but I never got the chance to style it appropriately. Paired it with my flip-flop heels, always a classic. Wearing this white rib dress over my leather jacket cause let's face it, you need one. <laughs> this leather jacket really added a nice touch on this outfit. It immediately turned my outfit elegant. This outfit is something that you would see on Pinterest and I think it's a great look. Definitely one of my faves. Moving on to another casual comfy outfit, I'm wearing this black top that I stole from my mom's. I love it because it reminds me of the 90s fashion era where everyone wears fitted clothes like this. Paired it with my comfiest flared pants and some sneakers. It's a simple outfit that I put together but really does say something. 
Also, when in doubt, go for black on black outfit. It always works. Trust me with that. Another simple dressy outfit is this t-shirt in combination with this wide leg pants. Lately, I've been obsessed with light yellow tops. I love how it looks good on my complexion. I paired it with these heels to make the outfit appropriate for going out and honestly, it looked fine. Thought it was too much with the flowy pants but I loved how it turned out. Love, love this next one. So I'm wearing this rib knit tube top. I don't think you can see the details of this top, but it has gorgeous tan rib lines. Added this faux leather blazer to make the outfit more modest looking. Then for my bottoms, I'm wearing my flared pants from the previous outfits. To dress down the outfit, I paired it with some sneakers. Here's a little water break, so drink your water, bitch. And of course, I thought my water bottle looked good with the outfit, so I, um, yep, kind of weird, but okay. Saving the best for last, I am wearing this oversized polo over my leather jacket. First of all, everybody needs an oversized polo. I'm actually the type of person who raids people's closet, aka my dad and my brothers. This one is my brother's, and I doubt it that he knows I have this polo. This outfit is definitely my best one yet. It's super sophisticated looking and at the same time, it is easy to recreate when you have the right pieces. And there you go, that is the outfits video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one because I really had fun filming this. And let me know if you want more outfits slash styling video by giving this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.